Roll for Story. Episode 2, World Building. What is world building? Simply put, it's the process of constructing an imaginary world. Of course, all stories need a setting. But world building is more than just deciding where a story happens. It's creating geography, ecology, cultures, history, and all the small details that make up a world. The world a writer creates depends on the story. Books like The Lord of the Rings and movies like Star Wars have rich, detailed worlds, while stories that take place in the real world require less world building. Tabletop RPGs often have their own world in which games take place. D&D has its own world that players can jump into without the need for much world building. Mechanics like races, classes, backgrounds, and pre-generated monsters are at your disposal. But the great thing about these games is that you can adopt the world D&D gives you, selectively incorporate those world-building elements, or decide to abandon it completely and make your own world, while still using the D&D rule system. Let's take a look at the D&D table and see how world-building is an important part of tabletop RPGs. Okay guys, as you walk into Quaintsville through the Twin Mallets Valley, you pass familiar fields of wheat, the primary export in these lands. As you walk into the village, the fresh scent of bread fills your nostrils. It must be around 9 a.m. Barney the Baker always puts out his breads around this time. The entire village seems to be waking up too, Farmers pass you with their shovels and hoes on their way to the fields, and old Mary, the innkeeper, is beating dust out of a rug outside the hooked claw of the local tavern. A rooster crows. I forgot that Quaintsville was such a nice little place. One might say, quaint. Stop it. I was kidding. I was kidding. Rewind. By describing the specific geography, sights, sounds, and smells of the village, Gary set a scene in which the players could exist. He could have simply told the players, you enter the village. But by adding details to his description, he created a strong sense of immersion. As a writer, you want your audience to believe in the reality of your story. A thoughtfully constructed world will seem to exist outside the confines of the narrative, creating a strong sense of immersion.